everyone. Today is Tuesday and I'm going to go over your workout of the day. We're going to get started with our warm up. So we'll go out for a 200 meter run. And when you come in, we're going to go 30 seconds on each movement, starting with twisted cross. So you'll tee the arms to the side, crossing right to left, left to right. Then we'll go into one legged V ups on your back, alternating right and then left. Then next we'll do Superman lifts with your arms out in a Y, so thumbs out, lift up, and then lower, activating the low back and your glutes there. Standing up with your barbell next, we're going to do snatch grip deadlifts, so your hands will be wide with that hook grip. Feet underneath your hips, bars in contact with your shins. Hips and shoulders rising at the same time, activating your glutes and your hamstrings. Then we're going to do hang power snatches, anywhere below the hip above the knee, upright torso, full extension and shrug, catching in the power position, standing up. Next bar will come to your back, we're going to do one behind the neck press, and then an overhead squat. You can do a little dip drive, pulling that bar apart, keep the chest up, hips go back and down. After that, we'll spend some time warming up our snatches for the EMOM we have today. We'll be doing power snatches based on percentages. So with the power snatch, the bar will start mid shin. We're coming slow to the knee, into the hip, full extension here. Catch the overhead, standing all the way up. Okay, reset the feet every time under the hips. So power snatches first, and then part two will be snatch balance. So three sets of five. Again, working on that drop underneath the bar. So we will dip, drop, stand it all the way up. If we're not quite there with our snatch balance, we can work the press to overhead squat. Okay, so working on the mobility in the overhead squat position, pulling that bar apart, keeping your core tight and your chest up. Hips go back first, then we come down for the squat. If you're working at home and don't have barbell, we're going to be doing dumbbell power snatches. So from the floor, both ends of the dumbbell, all the way up. We'll do three sets of 10 on each side there. And then for the snatch balance overhead squat portion, you'll hold the dumbbell overhead. And we're gonna do three sets of 10 each side, holding the bar, the dumbbell straight up over your head, going into that squat. For our workout of the day, we've got hang power cleans with toes to the bar. So this is gonna get quite grippy. You want to start with the feet under the hips, you'll deadlift the bar up to the hang position, anywhere below the hip above the knee, full extension and shrug, catching on the shoulders. Fast with your elbows, okay, so big sets there on the barbell, and then toes to bar, toes to target, or line toes to rig. So lying on your back, bring the feet up and over, okay? And also hang power cleans can be done with dumbbells. So two dumbbells by your sides, two above the knee, up to your shoulders, okay? Two dumbbells if you don't have a barbell at home. For our core work, we've got three sets barbell rollouts. If you don't have a barbell at home, we're going to do plank reach outs. So you'll do eight on each arm. Start in plank, reach out, come back, hands under shoulders. And then an overhead barbell hold for 45 seconds. So if you have a barbell, holding it overhead, core nice and tight. If you don't have a barbell, one dumbbell, held overhead. So you want to keep your core tight, so tucked in tight, squeeze your butt holding that over your head, okay? Hope you guys enjoyed today's workout of the day, and we'll see you soon, bye.